Cod fishing is a traditional fishing activity in many cold seas, especially in the North Atlantic. Cod is not only a valuable food source but also plays an important role in the economy of many coastal communities. Fishing usually takes place in winter, when the cod migrates to shallow waters to spawn. Fishermen often use special nets and modern fishing boats to harvest the fish. However, cod fishing also faces challenges, such as declining numbers due to overfishing and climate change. Therefore, many sustainable management measures are being applied to protect this fishery for future generations. In addition to protecting cod resources, fishing also needs to focus on sustainable methods to minimize environmental impacts. Fishermen are increasingly adopting environmentally friendly fishing techniques, such as using nets with moderate mesh sizes to avoid catching other fish species and protect marine ecosystems. At the same time, the development of sustainable seafood certification programs is also becoming popular. Certified cod products not only help consumers make safe choices, but also encourage fishermen to practice responsible fishing methods. Furthermore, cod also has cultural and culinary value, becoming an ingredient in many traditional dishes in Nordic countries. From smoked cod to rich stews, cod not only enriches meals but also connects communities with long-standing traditions. Therefore, preserving and developing the cod fishing industry is an important task not only for the economy but also for the cultural heritage of the seas. In addition to its economic and cultural value, cod fishing is also of great significance in maintaining the livelihoods of millions of fishermen and their families. Many coastal communities depend on cod fisheries for their daily livelihoods. From processing, to consumption, to export, this creates a global value chain, linking producers to consumer markets. However, climate change is having a strong impact on cod habitats. Rising sea temperatures and changes in feeding patterns can alter the fish's movements and reproduction. Therefore, researchers and environmental organizations are working hard to monitor and develop response solutions to protect cod and marine ecosystems. In addition, education and raising public awareness about the importance of protecting fishery resources is also essential. Through training programs and communication campaigns, people can better understand the impacts of unsustainable fishing and learn how to implement conservation measures. Ultimately, cooperation between countries, organizations and local communities is key to ensuring a sustainable future for the cod fishing industry. The combination of modern technology, strict management regulations and community awareness will help protect not only cod but also the marine ecosystem, creating a bright future for both fishermen and future generations. In the context of globalization, cod fishing also faces challenges from international markets. Increased demand from large markets such as Asia and North America puts great pressure on wild cod resources. This has led to some countries adopting unsustainable fishing practices, raising concerns about the depletion of fish stocks. To address this issue, many international organizations have called for countries to cooperate in managing cod stocks. Multilateral agreements have been established to set catch quotas, monitor wild cod numbers, and share scientific information among countries. These efforts not only protect cod but also help build a sustainable management system for marine resources. 
At the same time, technology also plays an important role in improving the efficiency and sustainability of the cod fishing industry. Modern monitoring and tracking systems help fishermen grasp information about the location and quantity of cod, thereby planning fishing more reasonably. The application of technological solutions such as smart fishing nets or biomonitoring devices also contributes to reducing losses and protecting other fish species in the ecosystem. Finally, the involvement of local communities in conservation and sustainable development programs is very important. When fishermen and residents understand the importance of maintaining cod stocks, they are more motivated to participate in environmental protection initiatives. Only when all parties work together can the cod fishery develop sustainably and bring long-term benefits to people and the environment in addition to participating in conservation initiatives. Local communities can also contribute to the development of diversified economic models that help reduce pressure on cod stocks. Developing ecotourism, for example, can create additional income for fishermen while raising awareness of the value of marine ecosystems. Tourists can participate in experiential activities such as boat trips, watching cod in the wild or participating in environmental protection programs. In addition, cod products can be enhanced in value through smart marketing campaigns, thereby attracting consumers who care about the quality and origin of the product. Products such as smoked cod, Salted cod or cod dishes not only preserve cultural identity but also expand the consumer market for fishermen. To ensure the long-term viability of the cod fishery, investment in research and development is also essential. Scientists and experts can study sustainable aquaculture methods that can reduce pressure on wild fish stocks. Such research will not only help conserve cod, but may also lead to viable solutions for other endangered fish species. Finally, collaboration between governments, non-profit organizations, and private businesses is needed. Establishing programs to support fishermen, Providing training in sustainable fishing techniques and developing conservation funds will create a solid foundation for the future of the cod fishery. In general, cod fishing is not just a profession, but also an important part of the culture and economy of many coastal communities. Protecting this resource requires the joint efforts of all stakeholders, from fishermen to governments, from conservation organizations to consumers. Only by acting collectively and responsibly can cod continue to thrive in our seas and on our plates. To further strengthen the sustainability of the cod fishery, education and awareness raising within the community are also important. Training programs should focus not only on sustainable fishing techniques but also on the impacts of fishing on the environment and ecosystems. When fishermen and consumers have a better understanding of the importance of protecting fish stocks, they will be more motivated to participate in conservation efforts. In addition, building community networks can help share experiences and best practices among fishermen. Community meetings, workshops and events can provide a space for people to discuss the challenges and opportunities in the cod fishery. This can lead to new ideas and solutions that can help improve the efficiency of the industry. Furthermore, supportive government policies are key to maintaining cod stocks. Measures such as appropriate fishing licenses, close monitoring of fishing activities,
and regulations on the size of fish allowed to be caught can help prevent overfishing. Governments can also create support funds for fishermen during lean years, ensuring that they can make a living without having to rely on overfishing. Finally, consumer engagement is also important. When consumers choose to buy cod from certified, sustainable sources, they are helping to promote a responsible industry. Communication campaigns can help raise awareness of the importance of choosing products from sustainable sources, thereby creating positive pressure on the market. In short, cod fishing is not only a profession but also a part of cultural, economic and environmental life. To ensure a sustainable future for this resource, all stakeholders need to work closely together, from fishermen to researchers, from consumers to governments. Only then can cod continue to be a symbol of the sea and a source of livelihood for many generations to come. Cod fishing and processing is an important process not only for the economy but also for the culinary culture of many countries. Fishing usually takes place in winter, when the cod migrates to shallow waters. Fishermen use specialized nets and modern boats to harvest the fish, ensuring safety and efficiency. After being caught, cod is usually processed on board or in nearby processing plants. Cod processing involves many methods, from smoking, salting to canning, each of which brings its own flavor and nutritional value. Smoked cod, with its rich flavor, is often favored in traditional dishes and parties. Meanwhile, salted cod not only preserves for a long time but is also a ripe ingredient after processing. Cod is often distributed to various markets, from local markets to supermarkets and high-end restaurants. The variety of cod dishes is also very rich, from rich stews to simple but attractive grilled cod. Each preparation honors the natural flavor of the fish. In addition, the development of technology has also helped improve the processing process. Modern refrigeration equipment helps preserve fresh fish for longer. While vacuum packaging methods preserve the flavor and nutrients of the product, this not only meets the needs of consumers but also contributes to reducing waste. In addition, the processing of cod is closely related to sustainability factors. Many processing facilities now apply environmental protection standards and ensure that fish resources are exploited sustainably. The collaboration between fishermen and processes helps create a safe and responsible supply chain. From sea to table, in short, Catching and processing cod is not only a profession but also an art. Connecting people with the sea and culinary culture, with the combination of tradition and technology, cod continues to play an important role in the daily life of many communities, providing unique and rich culinary experiences. Furthermore, raising awareness about the origin and processing of cod is also increasingly important. Today's consumers are not only interested in taste but also in sustainability and product quality. Cod brands with clear origins and certified sustainability often attract attention and trust from customers. Educational programs and culinary events also play an important role in introducing cod dishes. Cooking demonstrations, food processing workshops or culinary festivals not only help improve processing skills but also create opportunities for chefs. 
fishermen and consumers to exchange and share knowledge and experiences. In addition, encouraging the use of cod in family meals also contributes to the conservation and development of this resource. Simple and easy to make recipes with cod are not only delicious but also nutritious. Helping families have diverse and healthy meals. Finally, in the context of climate change and declining fishery resources. Promoting sustainable solutions in cod fishing and processing is becoming more urgent. Fishermen and processors need to continue to work together, adopt new technologies and responsible fishing methods to ensure that cod will remain an important part of coastal cuisine and culture in the future. In short, from fishing to processing, cod is not only nutritious but also an indispensable part of the lives and culinary cultures of many communities. The combination of tradition and modernity will continue to keep cod a valuable food source, serving the increasing demand of domestic and foreign consumers. In addition to the factors mentioned, the development of circular economic models in the cod processing industry is also increasingly focused. Businesses are looking to optimize production processes to minimize waste and reuse by products from processing. For example, the heads, bones, and skins of cod are often processed into products such as fish meal or animal feed, adding value to the entire process. At the same time, the connection between fishermen, processors, and consumers through direct distribution channels is also becoming a prominent trend. Local markets and e-commerce websites make it easy for consumers to access fresh cod products. while ensuring that fishermen receive fair value for their products. This model not only supports the local economy but also creates a more conscious and responsible consumer community. NGOs and government agencies are also actively involved in supporting fishermen and cod processing businesses through funding, training, and technical assistance programs. These efforts will not only improve production capacity but also encourage the adoption of more sustainable fishing and processing methods. Ultimately, cod is not just a food but also a cultural and traditional symbol for many coastal communities. Preserving traditional processing methods, combined with innovations in technology and management, will help maintain cultural identity and provide rich culinary experiences for consumers. In short, the cod fishing and processing industry is facing many opportunities and challenges. The combination of tradition, technology and community awareness will play a decisive role in ensuring the sustainable development of this valuable resource. Bringing long-term benefits to fishermen, consumers and the entire ecosystem along with advances in production and processing. Innovation in marketing and promotion channels for cod products is becoming more important than ever. The growth of social media and online platforms allows producers to reach a large number of potential customers. Stories about the origin of products, the catching process and processing are widely shared, not only enhancing brand value but also creating a deep connection between consumers and fishermen. Furthermore, culinary competitions and television shows related to cod processing also attract public attention. Celebrity chefs introducing unique cod dishes not only enrich the cuisine but also inspire passion and creativity in food processing. Increased connectivity between countries and regions also plays an important role in the development of the cod industry. 
International seafood conferences and events provide an opportunity for fishermen, processes and researchers from around the world to meet, share experiences and discuss issues related to conservation and sustainable development. Through this, new methods and solutions can be applied, helping the industry adapt to future challenges. Ultimately, to achieve sustainable development in the cod fishing and processing industry, global cooperation is essential. International organizations, governments, and environmental groups need to work together to develop policies and regulations to ensure that cod resources are not only conserved but also grown sustainably. In short, Cod is not only a valuable food source but also a symbol of the connection between people, culture and nature. By conserving and developing this resource responsibly, we not only protect the environment but also preserve its cultural and economic values for future generations. To promote sustainable development in the cod fishing and processing industry, increased education and awareness raising within the community is also needed. Training programs for fishermen on safe fishing techniques, Environmental protection and resource management will help them better understand the importance of conserving this resource. In addition, organizing seminars and workshops with the participation of experts, researchers and governments will create a forum for sharing experiences and knowledge. For consumers, communication campaigns to raise awareness about the benefits of choosing COD from sustainable sources are also important. Promotional programs can focus on showcasing the health benefits of COD, as well as stories about fishermen and production communities. As consumers become more aware of the origin of their products, they will tend to buy more sustainable products, thereby creating a responsible market. In addition, innovation in research and development should also be encouraged. Scientists can research sustainable aquaculture methods for cod, thereby helping to reduce pressure on wild fish stocks. Developing new technologies in the preservation and processing of cod will also help improve product quality and extend shelf life. Reducing waste. Finally, cooperation between stakeholders in the cod industry is essential to create an efficient and sustainable supply chain. Connecting fishermen, processors, distributors and consumers will help ensure that everyone can benefit from the industry without harming the environment. In short, cod is not only a food product but also a symbol of the connection between humans and nature. Developing the cod fishing and processing industry in a sustainable manner not only helps protect valuable resources but also contributes to building a better future for the community and the environment. The joint efforts of all stakeholders will create a solid foundation for the long-term development of this industry to optimize the sustainability of the cod fishing and processing industry. It is important to develop supportive policies from governments and relevant organizations. These policies could include providing credit, facilitating access to new technologies for fishermen, or providing financial support for conservation initiatives. Investment in infrastructure such as modern ports and processing plants can also help improve operational efficiency and reduce environmental impacts. <laughs> 